Hi guys, in these tutorials I will be talking about Linux, programming and the Raspberry Pi. For those of you who don't know, the Raspberry Pi is a £15 computer with the goal of teaching children programming. The idea of these tutorials is to help newcomers get to grips with the basics of Linux. Once the Raspberry Pi is released in December, I'll move on to how to get it up and running and the various ways you can use it. In the first tutorial, I will assume that you are using Windows and will be showing you how to set up a virtual machine running Debian Linux. From here, we'll set up an environment similar to the Raspberry Pi so you can find your way around. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download VirtualBox, which basically lets you install an operating system on your computer inside the operating system that you already have. So, um, virtualbox. Dot org. Okay, from here you basically need to go to the download section, um, virtual box for Windows hosts, and click on x86 forward slash amd64, and then just save this file wherever you want to. Um, I'm saving mine in the tutorial folder for this in a downloads folder. Right. Okay, so. Um, this is going to take a few minutes, so while this is downloading, we can head over and download Debian. So if we go www.debian.org, um, then go network install, um, smaller CDs, and choose i386, and then save that file in the same place. Um, and the reason we're choosing smaller CDs is basically Linux is a very modular operating system so instead you can download a tiny CD image and then only install the packages that you need from the internet. Okay so both of them have downloaded now so the first thing we need to do is install VirtualBox. Um, I would just leave this all as it is, just the defaults. Uh, shortcut on the desktop. Next. Yes. Okay, so what this is saying is, um, basically, it installs an extra network adapter because it um, your virtual machines need to be able to connect to the internet, or in this case, it does anyway. So, proceed with installation now, yes. Install. Um, would you like to install this device software? Uh, this is this is USB drivers, so basically, um, you can use it for testing hardware. So, for example. If you wanted to use a webcam um, and test your webcam with Linux, then you could directly pass it through to Linux. And then this is your network drivers as well. Okay. All right, so we want to start VirtualBox. <clears throat> right then. So, um we want to go new virtual machine. And then let's call it Raspberry Pi. Pi. Operating system, choose Linux and then Debian. Okay, then click next. Uh, RAM, I'm going to give mine 256 mega RAM because I want the Model B Raspberry Pi. And then create a new hard disk. Um, 8 gig will be fine. Right, uh, virtual box disk image is fine. Dynamically allocated. Yeah, you want to pick this because if you choose fixed size, then um, the virtual hard drive will always take up 8 gig, even though that space isn't needed. Um, yep, so let's 
Where are you going to save this? Yeah, that can be saved in there. So this is um made a new folder called the VirtualBox VMs in my documents, and then a new folder called Raspberry Pi, and the hard drive will be called Raspberry Pi VDI. And then create. Yeah. Okay, so now we've created our virtual machine, we need to load up the Debian CD. So double click on storage. And then go to the CD drive where it says empty. And click on this icon here. Um, and then go choose a virtual CD forward slash DVD disk file. And choose the Debian image that you saved um, where the virtual box install was before. Okay, right. And then we can go ahead and run our virtual machine. Um, right, okay. Um, all this is saying is that when you click inside the virtual machine, that um, any keys you press on your keyboard will go straight to the virtual machine until you press right control. So where it says the host key is currently defined as right control, when you press that, then you can use your keyboard to control the normal operating system again. Right. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we've got the Debian installer. Um, yeah, right, that's fine. Okay, so then we'll go install. I'll just um, close these messages off. Okay, so choose a language. Uh, I'm assuming English, so just press enter to choose that. Um, use the arrows to navigate the menu and then um, click United Kingdom by pressing enter. British English. Okay, um, so this is just loading components from the CD. And then detecting the network hardware. And there we go, it's um your virtual machine is on the network so uh, please enter a host name so let's say raspberry pi oh spell that wrong raspberry pi um okay then enter domain name i'm just going to put home.org this is this isn't really important Choose a mirror. Yeah. Um, so this is just asking where it where it should get the packages from. So United Kingdom's the closest for me. And then um, any of these is fine. Uh, proxy information. If you use a proxy, um, then you'll have to put in the settings for that here. Right. Okay. Root password. Um, Root in Linux or Unix systems is the equivalent of administrator for Windows. Um, so um, give it a strong password. Um, and then you have to re-enter to verify. And uh, the idea with, with Linux is um, you only switch to the root user when doing administrative tasks. So like the new user. Uh, so you're supposed to make a standard user as well. So... Uh, call mine Liam Fraser and username will be Liam and then password will be uh, whatever I want it to be okay um 
partitioning, um, it's easier for now if we just choose use entire disk and then the installer will set that up automatically. Just press enter on this. Um, all files in one partition recommended for new users, that's fine. Okay, finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Yeah. So if you just wait while this is happening, it's just installing a base system and then you can pick extra packages to go on top after this. Uh, this might take a few minutes. Okay, so now the base install's finished, um, we've got this pop-up about popularity contest. And um, that's basically saying it's going to submit the packages that you've installed to Debian. Um, it's up to you if you want to choose this, but I'm just going to do no for now. Okay, so as this says, at the moment, only the core of the system is installed. To tune the system to your needs, you can choose to install one or more of the following predefined collections of software. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to uncheck all of them. So you uncheck them by pressing spacebar. Um, <clears throat> and basically, this is going to install the most minimal system possible. So we can then put what packages we need on the top. Um, with the Raspberry Pi, it's going to be quite a minimal system install anyway because of the RAM and the limited processing power. So. Okay, this basically, um, Grub is a bootloader, so it's the first thing that loads up when you turn the computer on, or in this case, the virtual machine, and it lets you choose what operating system you want, and um, you just click yes to this. It's basically checking that if you had any other operating systems installed, that you're um, not going to overwrite anything. Okay, so the installation is complete. It's time to boot into your new system. Make sure to remove media. Okay. <clears throat> so the CD drive is now empty again so it must have been ejected automatically um, so then you can click continue and the machine will restart ok so here we go uh, Debian Linux, the first boot. Um, this is going to look a lot different to Windows if that's what you usually use. And um, it's just something that you have to get used to. It seems a bit daunting at the at the start, but once you get used to it, it's fine. It's uh, a lot more efficient than Windows as well in some cases. So, <clears throat> login screen. Um, I'm going to log in as Liam, the user I made before. And then type my password in. Um, for security reasons on Linux, the um, pass like the password characters don't actually show up. So even though I've typed my password in, nothing appears. And then if you press enter, there we go. So uh, now we're in a Linux terminal. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is install a desktop environment. So <clears throat> the first thing you need to do to do that is change to root because to do any administrative task you need to change to root so to do that you need to type in su which stands for substitute user oh, 
Hang on. SU, substitute user. Then type root and press enter. And then it'll ask you for the root password that you specified when you did the installation. Press enter. And now you're logged in as root. <coughs> um, the package management system in Debian is called apt-get. Um, and to use this, you type apt-get inst install. And then we're going to install a desktop environment called LXDE. And as well as that, you need to install the graphics drivers, which are called X11. And to get them, you need to type in Xorg. And then press Enter. So after that's installed, the next thing to do is install the X server drivers um, by going apt get install X server hyphen X org hyphen video hyphen all and then press an enter. And then just click yes on this. And now we've installed everything we need, we can log out of root by uh, typing in exit, which will return to the previous user that you were logged in as. And then to start the desktop environment, you can type start x and then press enter. And then if you just wait a second, there you have it. We've got LXDE. Okay, so now you're in LXDE. Um, it's a, you've got a good opportunity to have a look around and find out how everything works. Um, to shut down or restart the virtual machine, you just click this power button here and then choose shut down or reboot. Um, I'm just going to reboot at the moment because you've installed um, a desktop environment now, the default option will be to start a login manager called um, GNOME Display Manager. You'll see that after the system restarts. Um, while the system is loading, I'd just like to take the opportunity to say thanks for watching this tutorial. And if you found it helpful, um, please subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think the next, next tutorial should be on. Okay, so as you can see here, it says start in GNOME Display Manager. And then, um, here you have it, when it loads. Yep, there you go. So, I would type in Liam and type in my password, press enter and then you're back into LXDE. I'll try and get the next tutorial up for next week so that it's like a weekly series. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.